Hi everyone, this is Martha of the Beauty Junkie and today I am going to share this bridal makeup look called Rebel Bride. This DIY look is easy, fun, and perfect for budget brides out there. First, let's tone our skin with Nook's Gentle Toning Lotion to condition the skin and take out excess oil. Next, I am going to moisturize using Simple Hydrating Moisturizer. Moisturizing is important to keep makeup looking fresh and intact the whole day. Next, I'm taking Yuskina Cream to condition my lips and prepare it for whole day lipstick wear. Starting with makeup, I'm going to use Revlon Photo Ready Prime Plus Anti-Shine Primer and apply it all over my face. Using the same primer, I am going to apply it on my lids and use it as an eyeshadow primer. For foundation, I'm using Revlon Color Stay Foundation and my shade is Golden Caramel. I'm using my Beauty Sponge from BYS to buff the product on my skin. For concealer, I'm using Catrice Camouflage Cream and I'm going to use it under my eyes. I'm also going to use the same concealing cream to highlight my features. For blush, I'm starting with Revlon Insta Blush Cream Stick Blush and I'm going to apply it on my cheeks. I'm just going to apply it on the side. Moving to eyebrows, I'm going to use Anastasia Tip Brow in the shade called Soft Brown. To finish my eyebrow look, I'm going to use Color Collection All Day Wear Brow Mascara and this will keep my hair strands in place. Time for baking, I'm going to bake the oily parts of my face using Palladio Rice Powder in the shade called Natural. Let's begin with the eyes. Take the same concealer you used and a flat brush and draw a half moon on your eyelids. Fill it in with the same concealer. Next, take a dark gray eyeshadow and apply it on your outer crease. Next, take a fluffy brush and spread a color while still leaving a patch of color on your outer crease. I'm going to take Modern Renaissance by Anastasia and use the shade called Tempera to set the concealer. I'm going to use Color Collection All Day Wear Eyeliner and line my eyelids as usual. I am going to take Makeup Forever Aqua Liner in the shade Black and I am going to line my lower lids. I'm gonna use a Q-tip to remove the stark line. Finally, I am going to set the liner on my lower lids with a black eyeshadow. Next, I am going to dress my eyes with these gorgeous falsies from Bokto in the style J202. Next, I'm gonna unify my re-lashes with my falsies using Color Collection All Day Wear Lengthening Mascara. Don't forget to coat your lower lashes. To finish my face, I'm going to contour using Pink Sugar Sweet Cheeks in the shade Morocco. Using Revlon Powder Blush in the new shade called Orchid, I am going to set the cream blush I have applied previously. Using Catrice High Glow Mineral Highlighter, I'm going to apply a bit of highlight on my face. And to finish the look, I am going to use Sleek Matte Me in the shade Velvet Slipper. And that's it for our DIY Rebel Bride makeup look. Don't forget to visit ilovebdj.com daily for beauty inspirations like this.